But almost two years before the King beating, an actor says he was beaten after a traffic accident. And details are just now coming to light. That she's a real beauty. Back in August 1989, actor Morgan Stevens, who was a regular on the series A Year in the Life and Fame, among others, was arrested on suspicion of drunk driving along the Pacific Coast Highway near Malibu. Stevens says the officer mistakenly assumed he was drunk because he had just taken a pain reliever for a bad back. And to make matters worse, Stevens says he was unable to speak clearly because of recent throat surgery. Because they couldn't hear me, uh... I don't, I don't know, I assume they just thought that I was, I was on something. I don't know. Stephen says his nightmare began after he was brought to this jail in West Los Angeles. He says two jailers began to attack him when he refused to fold and hand them a T-shirt he had taken off in order to be searched. And I turned around and I gestured and I said, it's just a T-shirt. And as I was coming back around, that, you know, that's when the blows started coming. According to Stevens, he was punched and kicked in his face, stomach, and groin. The results? All the bones surrounding the eye were fractured. Uh, the cheekbone was completely crushed. I had a, a, a severed nerve here. Um, had nose badly broken. Morgan Stevens says he insisted these photos be taken documenting the assault. Later, Stevens filed a police brutality lawsuit, which only this week was settled. The actor feels in the wake of the now-famous Rodney King case, the Los Angeles Police Department settled, fearing negative publicity. But Stevens still isn't entirely satisfied. I wanted part of my settlement, not only to be mon monetarily, but I wanted these guys gone. They, there is no reason why they should be on the force. Stevens says his injuries and resulting well, depression brought his career to a standstill. He'll now try to put it back together. Yeah, the main thing is just trying to build build the self-confidence, trying to, to get the self-esteem back, because otherwise I'm dead in the water as an actor. That's how I make my living. That out-of-court settlement must be approved by the Los Angeles City Council. Until then, neither side will discuss the amount of the settlement.